electrifying fan has come back for the 1,000th Raw. And a few weeks ago, The Rock's fan told you that he would be doing a video for the 1,000th Raw. In The Rock's voice, he thought about it. He started getting requests. So here you have it. But I've got one addition. The Rock's diva, my jabroni chick. Give her a hand. That's right, she'll be joining me for this. We'll be feeding off of each other, commenting. You may even see me lay the smack down on her milky white candy <laughs> ass. So without further ado, let's begin this raw real time. So first up, move, move, jabroni chick. Let me fix this. <laughs> see this right here. <laughs> Messing up the rock's flow. Now, first up, we've got the great Vincent Kennedy McMahon coming out starting the show. And then, Degeneration X comes on out. Shawn Michaels, Triple H, talks about there must be more of them. For the second, the rock thought that China was coming out. But she's off in LA making pornos. You remember Degeneration X? I do. You do. Bit. A little bit. I don't know who those other guys are, though. Of course, because when The Rock was growing up watching these guys, she was watching Dawson's Creek. What do you think about that, people? I never watched Dawson's Creek. Yes, you did. Shut your mouth. <laughs> the Rock's fan says this. So as you can see by what just happened, Degeneration X did what they do best, and that is degenerate all over that SmackDown jabroni's candy ass. It was really good to see them all back together, but it'll probably be only for one show because the rest are going to go back to doing what they do, which is absolutely nothing, which is what The Rock's girlfriend's doing on the couch right now. She's just being all quiet like Macho Man and Elizabeth. Hey, if I want to do that, I would have said, ooh, yeah, get over here, Elizabeth. Good old JR's back with a goatee. I like it. I don't think it works. I think it, it works. I don't think it works. It makes him look like the evil JR from another dimension. He's the greatest announcer to ever live. And he always did it with the good old double chin and no facial hair. See, the, the goatee kind of diminishes the double chin check thing going on here. Check as a chin and a neck. So, 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 <laughs> let, 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 let The Rock's greatest fan get this straight. Yeah. You have a thing for JR? Oh, we've got six-man tag. We've got Alberto Del Rio, Dolph Ziggler, and Chris Jericho versus Rey Mysterio. That's right, that little son bitch is back. Sin Cara and Sheamus. Hey, honey. Come on into the shot. Why don't you tell the nice people what you thought about that match? Sheamus. It doesn't matter what you think. <laughs> That's up. We just had two divas on the screen together. You're standing kind of close to the rocks, <laughs> the little rocks fan. I'm getting a little tired of you getting all excited about Miss Layla. We had two divas on the screen together, AJ. Oh and yeah. Layla. He's got a little thing for what, AJ. What did you too. think about seeing that, honey? Huh? Tell the people. So in that last match, you have Brodus Clay destroying Jack Swagger, and we got a, all got a big surprise, dude. Love. Rock's fan really doesn't have much to say about that. Oh, sweet cream on an ice cream sandwich! We got Slick, the Reverend Slick. Reverend Slick married AJ and Daniel Bryan. Should have seen his face when she don't, came down the aisle. Don't AJ look so nice, y'all? Mm -hmm. Don't she look nice? Yeah. What do you Go think? Ahead. Oh, honey? Go ahead. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. The carnage. The Rock's fan is being destroyed. By your girlfriend. Somebody get there and stop it. So Daniel Bryan just got the news, the shocker of his life. AJ not only said no, but she's the general manager? What in the blue hell is wrong with Vince? Go ahead, honey, you can answer. It's safe. What do you think? Uh, it doesn't matter what you think. <laughs> 
finally the greatest of all time. Now the Rock's fans, girlfriend, if you'll please look at this. Sitting on the edge of the couch. She's on the edge of her seat. He paused watching the, the great one. That's right, I paused it. That's pause right. I paused it. The great one just got paused because no one supersedes Tyrone Magnus. All right? Now, the fact of the matter is, the only reason why she even likes The Rock is because I act like The Rock. The fact of the matter is this. The reason why the great one himself, the great one's fan, likes The Rock is because when The Rock first started, when The Rock came out, he did things and said, things they already said yeah. and then once she was introduced to wrestling the rock shows up and now just like her little crush on randy orton she's got a crush on the great one you get a pass tonight rock i can't wait to see what you're gonna say if you smell what tyrone magnus is cooking the great one himself will be entering himself into the royal rumble championship match and whoever's the champion then, The Rock has vowed to beat and become the new WWE Champion. Woo! Shut your mouth, jabroni chick. Now The Rock's fan says this, what if he beats him? He becomes a WWE Champion. The Rock's fan hopes that he's not setting it up for another WWE title match at WrestleMania with robotic John Cena. The Rocks fan does not need to see that. But if it is, I'm sure it'll be a good match. But The Rocks fan wants to talk about something else. He wants to talk about CM Punk. And see, The Rocks fan knows that CM Punk doesn't like The Rock. He knows that CM Punk thinks The Rock is corny and played out. But The Rocks fan says this, CM Punk, if you're watching, why don't you think about this? You're the WWE Champion. Yet, you do not. And The Rock's fan says, do not headline any Raws. You're never in the championship matches. Well, no, wait a minute, let me go back. You're the champion, so you do have championship. But you're not in the main events. John Cena's dumb monkey ass is in the main events. AJ is in the main events. Daniel Bryan is in the main events. And you're not. The truth hurts. We've got Bret Hart coming out, doing his thing. This is The Rock's fan doing his Bret Hart up, impersonation. Bret? Go That's my girlfriend. She's walking in the bathroom because she hates Bret Hart. Bret Hart always comes in the ring, walks around with his hand in his pocket, talks about things. Here, cussing me out from the bathroom. My brother Owen was around. He kicked your butt. One of the greatest wrestlers to live. Yeah, I really don't have much else to say. I'm Bret Hart. Not that exciting. Yeah, that's about it. Voice is kind of raspy. My hair looks like a wet mop. I respect what you've done, Bret Hart, but you suck. You're over, Bret. That's about it. Done with. She's in the bathroom taking a tinkle, talking about me. You hear the toilet flush? That's what I think about you, Brett. Done with. So we just saw Triple H call out Brock Lesnar. Then Paul Heyman gets in the ring, runs his mouth as he normally does. Then here comes Stephanie McMahon. You don't talk about Stephanie McMahon's children. No, 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 no. Then enter Brock Lesnar. Uh, hey, The Rock. The Rock's fan don't want none of Brock Lesnar. Did you see how intense he looked? That man is no joke. We know he's a real fighter in real life. The Rock's fan don't want to tangle with none of Brock Lesnar. And I don't think Triple H would either in real life. But The Rock's fan can't wait to see both of them lock up in that match. The Rock's fan's woman has something to say about, about Heath Slater. No one gives a shit about you with your stupid girly red hair and your country thing. What's looks your... Like Wendy. He looks like Wendy. They say he looks he like does. Wendy. Take your Wendy burger-eating ass 
off of Raw. Nobody cares about you. Why do they keep featuring him on things? Fact of the matter is, he absolutely sucks. Yeah. But now we got him in a match against Lita? That's how much you suck? Lita? Damn, I gotta say this in my regular voice. Did y'all see how they all fucked him up? Yo, Bradshaw killed him with that clothesline from hell. Finally. Finally they kicked his ass and shut him up. Thank you. Thank you, Legends. Thank you. <laughs> Heath Slater, rest in peace. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> the Rock's fan called it. You got The Rock facing off against John Cena at the Royal Rumble. The Rock's fan doesn't want to see it, but he'll take it. Because he would love to see The Rock with John Cena's monkey ass one more time. Looks like we got a big surprise. The Undertaker. Double tombstone. Simply electrifying. All right, y'all, I'm finishing this up in my real voice because that ending was the shit. We got John Cena's <laughs> punk ass coming out, going against CM Punk matches. All right, I was looking at it. I wasn't looking at it. She was falling asleep. Falling asleep. Punk ass John Cena. <laughs> then we got Big Show, one of my favorites now because he's always fucking up John Cena. He came out. And we got our boy The Rock came running out. Cut as hell. Did the whole Hulk up draw before he did yeah. the elbow. And I'm a fuck her up No evidence, no nothing. But you gonna tell me the rock gonna get dropped by one clothesline from CM Punk's skinny fat ass? Get the fuck out of here. You know one thing I love the rock so much, but the rock really oversells once in a while with a lot of the hits people give him. I'm like, really? And then he put him on to go to sleep or whatever, but that was still, I liked it. That was a good ending. CM Punk heel turn. Yep. Fuck him anyway. I never liked him in the first place. And Ross <laughs> gonna hand his ass to him. So, yeah. We out. And I will talk to y'all later.